today we are talking about the refrigerator. Now, um, how to organize a refrigerator. Now, part of this is up to you because it just depends on your needs. Um, now, they do say that different parts of the refrigerator have different temperatures and um, a lot of people say that we should organize our refrigerator around those temperatures. I don't know. I, I feel like if the refrigerator company made space on the door for milk, then milk should be able to go on the door uh, without going bad. But maybe if you buy a gallon of milk and you don't drink it very often, maybe putting it in the middle of the refrigerator where it's the coldest um, might work for you that way. Uh, I've always, I have, well, I don't, now that my kids are out of the house, I do not ha buy milk unless I need it for baking. So I have the heavy cream for my coffee and the tea on the door. Um, so those are uh, different opinions that I have seen studying other organizers. But the first thing needed for a organized refrigerator is first of all to take everything out and give your refrigerator a good cleaning. Clean it out and discard everything that is expired or that you don't use. You know, just check the expiration date and then put everything in like groups. So everything dairy together, everything that um, is similar, just have that ready in groups. Now, this is the time if you, if your refrigerator organization hasn't been working for you, this may be the time to make adjustments in the shelves and try out a different layout, uh, with your shelves. Uh, I will, if you're squeezing, you know, if you have a habit of just squeezing your food in any available space in your refrigerator, Maybe now is a time to make some changes. Organizing your shelves will help you reduce waste. Just like the freezer, if you know exactly where everything is and where to get it and how to rotate it without it being overstuffed, then it will reduce waste because you will know exactly where everything is. While you should find a system that works best for you and one that you'll keep up with, but here is some ideas, okay? Now, on, in my refrigerator on the top shelf, that's where I keep drinks. Right now, I do have uh, drinks and um, some keto bread just because that just seemed like the best place for it. Um, but it normally just holds beverages on the top shelf. Now they say that the top shelf is the first thing you see when you open the refrigerator. So you can keep leftovers on that shelf as well. But uh, I have drinks. I keep protein drinks and the uh, electrolyte drinks. I guess that's what they're called. Like Propel, uh, Gatorade Zero, uh, those type drinks. Those are all on the top shelf. And I do keep them in little containers so that they all stay lined up nice and neat. Um, now, um, some organizers say that you can keep ready-to-eat foods like yogurt, cheese, and deli meats there. This is one, they say that that's one of the warmer shelves in your refrigerator. Um, so, to avoid uh, fresh meats, but I have ideas for your fresh meats um, anyway, so we'll talk about that later. Um, instead consider designating, um, it for leftovers, takeout stuff you need to eat soon. It's, it is typically the first shelf you see. Um, now the middle shelf. Now I had to buy a little, um, shelf, you know, the ones you buy at Walmart when you don't have a shelf in your cabinet, but you need 
to be able to put things, more things in your cabinet. So you buy the little port of, uh, the little shelf. Well, I put that in my refrigerator and it fits perfectly. So what I keep on that are eggs. And I have the space next to the eggs. I sometimes put leftovers there because that space is perfect for those little styrofoam uh, to-go containers. And, you know, with the pandemic, we only eat out on Thursdays most of the time. So generally we don't have a lot of restaurant styrofoam containers but that's, it fits perfectly right there. Two of them stacked on top will fit right there next to the eggs. And then under that shelf, that's where I keep all the extra miscellaneous items. Um, any leftovers, vegetables that we cooked the night before. Any, to me, that's where all the eat first items go. Where some may say they keep it on the top shelf. I keep it right there on that first shelf underneath the eggs and leftovers. And there, you know, there may be some more leftovers there. So, um, some, so I put in an extra shelf for that. And you, but that shelf can also, you can consider keeping dairy products or produce, you know, stuff that, is uncovered like fruits that you want to just grab and go. Um, I also have jars of pickles and jalapenos and um, I don't typically use eat a lot of chips, but there might be chip dips there um, that we use with our vegetables and stuff like that. Um, now I am not using this idea because the one I bought did not stick real well, but you can buy those little hanging baskets that you would typically put in your sink to hold wet sponges. But instead of using it for that, you can stick those to the side of your refrigerator and put little items in there. It might be good for the some of the stuff that I'm going to tell you I uh, have on the door of my refrigerator, like... Um, cheese sticks and uh, maybe restaurant condiments can go in there. Like I said, I'm not doing that because I have another place designated for that, but um, that's a great idea for that. All right. So now I'm going to post a few pictures of that. All right. And now the bottom shelf um, I have some soda can bins and that's where I keep the mayonnaise, the jellies, all the sandwich condiments are in one of those little soda containers. And then I have little narrow refrigerator bins that match, that hold the little, all the other little condiments that I have so that they're not turning over, they're all standing up, and uh, I put the smaller ones, all of those condiments and stuff there in that, on the very bottom shelf in bins that fit so that they don't turn over and tip over and I'm not having to dig. All right. All right, now for the drawers. Now, my refrigerator has the little first drawer. That's where I keep my cheeses and my luncheon meats. Now, it also has little other miscellaneous things like if I, um, bacon grease, if I have a container of bacon grease, or if I've taken a little container of sour cream or something like that, if I've taken that to lunch, that little container will go in there so I can use it for my next lunch. Um, and it keeps it refrigerated. Um, all right, 
months. So then the next drawer is where I keep two things. I keep my produce and then on the other side, I have a bin where I keep sugar-free jellos and sugar-free puddings. Um, we try to eat as much sugar-free as possible. My husband is diabetic, so he does keep quite a bit of sugar-free jellos in there. And I have a bin so that they can, I can pile it all in the bin and it just, I, the bin holds more produce and more uh, jello when I have bins for the, it to all stack up in. And then the very bottom drawer is where I defrost my meats. Now I do keep have them in Ziploc bags already and I have a bin inside the drawer so that if it does leak, it leaks in that bin. I just pull the bin out and rinse it out and it has happened. I have had chicken to leak in the air chicken juice and it doesn't ruin my whole refrigerator and it's at the bottom so even if i didn't have the bin it's not going to leak over all the other food in my refrigerator because i'm defrosting it in a bin in the very bottom drawer now there's a little space left over because i haven't found a bin that fits that drawer perfectly because it has a tapered back um, so I do have a, pen, a bin for the defrosted items, but there's a little space on the side. So there I may put any extra um, produce or anything that I don't have space for somewhere else. Uh, sometimes I'll buy extra heavy cream and I'll have that stacked up in there ready to go for the cream that's in my door. All right, so... That is how I have that organized. So that is the refrigerator. Now we're going to tackle the refrigerator door. All right. Now, I really think I've got some smart ideas in the in the refrigerator door. Uh, the very top is where I keep the butter and the cream cheese in that little window there. I've seen some people keep little jars of uh, fresh herbs chopped up and ready to go in those jars for whatever they're cooking for the uh, week. But um, I just saw that at on the YouTuber at home with Nikki. I thought that was a brilliant idea. I just don't do that because I have all my frozen chopped up veggies in the freezer but uh, it was a great idea I just keep all my butter and cream cheese up there now that very first shelf in my door up against the wall of the door I keep low carb tortillas or it can be anything flat any type of tortillas and then right in front we have the little things of cream cheese, the spreadable cream cheese. Um, those are those seasoned ones, or we may have a bean dip or something like that that we use with our vegetables. Then there's a container with my husband's sliced cheese because he likes the, um, they're kind of like the Velveeta sliced cheese and me, I like real sliced cheese, so I don't keep mine there, but it makes it nice and convenient for him his sliced cheeses, and then there's another container where we put in all the little um, stick cheeses so that they're easy to grab and snack on and low-carb snack. And then it has the ketchup packets and sauce packets from restaurants that we keep there. Now, the container can only hold so much, so it keeps us from overflowing with all those little sauce packets once it's full then I go through it and throw it away and um, put those in there I'm not even sure why we collect those sauce packets but that's something that my family always 
felt bad about throwing away. So I made a little container so they could feel good about putting those in there. And then when it gets too full, I just throw them out, which is sad. I know we should utilize those and we should, it would save us, uh, you know, we can actually eat them. But for some reason, they, they do tend to go to waste. But I have my little cheese sticks in there too. All right, so that is that door. That's the convenience stuff for my husband so he can grab and go and make his stuff and not have to dig around in the refrigerator. And then, of course, I have the next one is where I keep my iced tea. And it's where I used to keep my gallon of milk. But now that we the kids are gone, we don't really eat cereal. We don't really drink a lot of milk. Uh, I have my heavy cream for my coffee there and a thing, a, a tube. Now that the sour cream comes in tubes, I have my tube of sour cream there. And then at the next are all the other condiments and sauces and bottles and any big items like extra produce and stuff that just is extra that I don't have room for in the refrigerator goes on the last two shelves of the door and I will uh, post pictures of that next. All right, guys, um, those that are listening on the podcast, I'm sorry you can't see the photos that are on the YouTube video podcast, but um, go come on over to YouTube and you can see the full, uh, my full refrigerator and how I have it organized, but Guys, I am glad to have you listening, whether it's podcast or watching on YouTube, and I will see you on the next video. I hope you all had a great Valentine. I heart you. I think you guys are the best, and thank you for coming back and watching my videos.